All right, so uh, this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. Uh, monthly general tarot reading April 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And as well, uh, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read to read cards that way, I'm also offering classes and uh, in order to sign up or to just have an idea what the class is all about, um, give me an inquiry on my Facebook page, which is also listed down below into the description down below, down below, <laughs> oh God. and uh, my assistant is going to take you from there. So uh, the first one, which represents the very topic of your month Pisces, that is to be the world card, followed by the next one, which stands for the energies that are surrounding the situation and are kind of like supporting the topic that is to be the emperor. Furthermore, we do have the challenges that you need to stand against here and overcome. That will be the um, nine of cups, followed by uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the month. That will be the gift and the blessing of the sun card. Afterwards, what we do have, it is uh, the impression that you are going to leave into the people around. That will be the tree of swords. Then it is what you can do in order to further your goal. That will be the Queen of Swords, followed by what can hurt your long-term goal here. That will be the Seven of Swords. And the last one, which stands as the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, Pisces, we have the Four of Cups. So quite a, very, um, a good month. Uh, it is what you do have ahead, Pisces. And that is uh, listed by the first couple of cards here, which are the energies. And then we do have the uh, situation, which is the world, the energies of the emperor. So pretty much those couple of cards here are pointing that um, thanks to your um, consistency, thanks as well to your uh, discipline. The discipline was uh, the word that I was searching for. And also the ability to exert structure or which is what the energies is going to help you to do so and maintain control either career-wise or either relationship-wise you are to be able to make things happen there is no better way to describe it here because the world literally points that whatever you are trying to manifest whatever you are trying to to finalize you know to establish and to accomplish it's all happening here into the month of April. It is because the world promises you what? Hey, everybody knows that completion. Now, important thing to be acknowledged though with the world card, it is that this month of April, it is the month where you finalize a chapter in your life. And then probably at the month, uh, at the month of May, you can expect many new things to happen. But, uh, and for that reason, now into the month of April, you Pisces needs to put a an extra work, extra performance, extra attitude, if you will, in order to consolidate and to finalize your current endeavors as best as you can. So you don't hate the results of them into the month of May. Uh, the world card, it promises you that after you kind of like close that chapter in your life, I, a new perspective is going to come to you afterwards. But right now, like I said, you will need to not lose focus. It's all about that. And uh, the energies here uh, that are going to help you throughout the, months of, uh, throughout the month of April will help you uh, particularly into identifying which aspect of your career or of your relationship demands or rather like requires your immediate attention and what kind of an actions you can do in there so you can um, avoid, for example, crisis or in generally and exert control and effective actions. So um, that being said, it does look like that uh, throughout uh, throughout the month of um, April, you Pisces are going to accomplish a lot. And uh, it's a, it is a good times if you tackle with the uh, with the enterprises or ideas that you do have or in generally endeavors that are quite difficult to manage 
because those energies will seriously help you to be at the top of your game or in other words to be at an ace of your um, of your performance and uh, those energies as well will allow you through the structure and through the consistency uh, and uh, through the uh, how can I say it through the right proportions of measures that you're going to put into career and relationship to present yourself very reliable in front of everybody around so pretty much people will see you as someone that you can that they can count on and as well will help you to um how do you say it in english when you clear up the space and you see that you do have time for yourself as well and finally with those energies and closing up the chapter it does look like that you will be able to face whatever um, the future presents to you with much more ease and bear than if you have performed in a chaotic manner. Uh, moving next is the challenge that you need to overcome here. That will be the, the Nine of Cups. And so the challenge in itself is to always think that you can go for more. Uh, it's a very similar reading to, I believe, the uh, Aquarius one. Okay. So with the, so what the nine of cups really points or shows a person satisfied with itself. So that is to be the challenge for you to not to be satisfied with yourself and always know that you can do it better, that you can do it more, that you can ask for more. And, and in generally, that, that, uh, how can I say it, that you can uh, re try, uh, revert or con convert was the word that I was searching for. You can convert a uh, mm, a current situation into even a, a better one. So um, it's it's pretty much demanding more from yourself if you ask me. Looking at those uh, looking at those cards, but challenging wise, that is going to be quite difficult, especially for people that are finding themselves under pressure and under uh, a lot of uh, a lot of expectations from those around. Especially if you are tackling with the uh, enterprises that you are finding difficult on their own accord. How can you um, how can you ask for a better performance, even if you are, are kind of like a uh, you are to be happy if you are able to pull it through in any way possible? Well, that's why we do have it as a challenge here that you to believe in yourself that you definitely can go for more and whatever you are satisfied with, you can do it better and it can be better as well. And you have a whole month to perfectionalize the results of your efforts and results of an effort it is what we do have as a gifts and blessings sun gives you an expanding energies of growth which additionally says that if you think that something grew as far as it could well you have to guess again because it can grow even more additionally to that the sun offers you uh, as a gift and blessing the most um i could say uh, the most natural follow-up of your things okay so uh if you have uh, toiled a lot at your career the most natural unfoldment of that it is to have a raise or it is to have a, a promotion you know if you have been behaving well with a specific person the most natural unfoldment of that it is that this person develop feelings develop emotions if you have however okay uh, being bad or in other words you made scandals you criticized this is what you are gonna face as well so gifts and blessings it is that everything is gonna go under its natural cause or uh, natural course excuse me and uh, you have to tackle it one one way or another so my appeal to you looking at that card Pisces it is that whenever uh, whatever you are trying to do here, your intentions needs to be good because at the end of the day, intentions, it is what is going to be rewarded the most out of everything and the intentions. It is what will help you to keep up with the maintenance, with the with the old structure and with the old consistency and with the old control that you have to exert over your relationship and over your career as well. Moving next, it is uh, the uh, impression that people are seeing, uh, that people are going to have into you. And that will be the impression of the Tree of Swords. 
So people will see you very stressed and very um, under pressure. Uh, it's because uh, what impression people are going to have it is that you are battling or rather like you are facing the circumstances with your back against the wall. It is like you are constantly on a catch up. Now that, that, that doesn't necessarily need to be true, but it is just the impression that uh, you are giving into the people around and uh, also people were going to see new worries that you are starting to believe in the doom and gloom that nothing is going to work out that uh, things are going to go down into shades and etc etc and, et and that uh, what, what my point here is it is that that is going to put additional pressure upon your relationship and like we said you are to be gifted with the natural course of events so additional pressure leads to a additional problems uh, an additional misunderstandings and as well you know an additional points of conflict so you have to turn around that impression into the people around by convincing them that you got it okay that you um uh, what is the english expression here um well pretty much that you do have it under control okay and that you do know what you are doing and that you are uh, things are happening exactly as you have anticipated them to happen and ultimately at the end of the day you will be able to manage it so people will need here reassurance so they do not kind of like a uh, think that you are losing a grip over the control of your marriage of your career or of your relationships as well moving next uh, we are having what can help your long-term goal and that is a, a person that we do have queen of swords that is a, a very smart type of individual in a sense of that this person can make usage of any circumstances that she or he has at your behalf. And uh, it's either going to serve you as an, an example how to push things through or it will be a someone who will help you to push your things through. Though this person it's uh, very difficult to tackle with in a sense of to get along with as they have... A huge negative experience in the sense of that they have failed quite uh, numerous times back in the days and that experience now serves them a, a good favor being able to identify what can go wrong how can go wrong and how to prevent going wrong so what my um, what I sus what I do suspect here is that is to be a person who guides you with the uh, with advice uh, in how to maintain control, how to maintain structure and uh, how to get through the uh, the toils that you have to incorporate throughout the month of April. That could also represent your physician, it could represent your um, psychotherapist, for example, your business partner, or it could represent as well your business advisor that is giving you the most well-found and uh, productive advice ever how you can manage through the crisis that the whole world is going uh, is going under uh, next one it is the uh, card showing what can hurt your long-term goal that will be the seven of swords stubbornness in that particular case and abandoning the common sense or rather like the um, traditional agenda of the world is very difficult to describe it here the seven of swords points to a um, it's like uh, you are going against the current everybody is trying to do something okay uh, and it's pretty much established up until this point how to do it and you are going against it you are trying something completely different uh, it's very difficult to describe it if i have to give you an example of it it is like uh, i will give you an example with my country from today there is a uh, there is a, a law that we all should should wear masks if we go outside and the seven of swords would represent that someone that it's just disobeying the law it's just it's just how it has to be so the seven of swords here points that you pisces needs to make your peace with certain things how they are and you should go by that uh, 
uh, that standing even though it may feel a little bit unrighteous even if you if it feels a little bit that you have to subordinate it is just inevitable because in unsubordination here with the seven of swords it is exactly what can uh, hurt your goal especially if you are unsubordinate to your own structure to your own plans to your own business to your own career or to your own relationship and the last card for you, uh, which is what, uh, which is the guidance that Tsar is offering, that will be the Four of Cups. And the uh, Four of Cups here uh, at that particular stage of uh, your uh, of your life, which is the month of April, looking at the follow up, looking as a follow, looking it as a follow up to the previous of the reading. It uh, urges you to think of what should you go next for after you close the chapter into your life. So while you are maintaining control and you are finalizing your things and your endeavors for example you maybe have to finalize you know your um uh, 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 the final management before a wedding you have to finalize a certain service that you are starting to offer and etc etc you have to simultaneously while you're finalizing those enterprises to think of what you are to tackle with next so you have to think of for your next challenge that is going to provide your next growth and your next improvement so that being said pisces this was your monthly tarot reading april 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and uh, depending on the service you have purchased i'm going to contact you within 24 hours giving you details how your reading is going to take place and if you like the way I read tarot and you want to learn to read that way, I am offering classes now. So in order to get signed or just to have an inquiry about what the class is all about, uh, going to my Facebook page and just giving me a message there is going to sort you out in regards to that. Uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Stay safe now and until then, bye.